Let's take a look at how Google has given us controls to shape the news feed. As you know, they know a lot about us based on our search history, but we can go deeper into these controls that Google provides and actually shape our own news feed. So we press the G, up comes your news feed. What you're seeing here, of course, in the news feed is a bunch of thumbnails. Each of these thumbnails has at the bottom of it a collection of controls. Start with this first control here. It's a little toggle switch. Press it and up comes more or less. So you can say, I want more or less of this type of story. So that's a ge the general level. I can go through each of the things that appears in my newsfeed before I even open it and kind of sort it and say, look, I want to see more of this or less of this. And Google will respond with that in my search history. There's a series of dots here on the bottom. When you press those, you can go even deeper. Up come all of these items, which would allow me to say, well, look, I want to follow this topic in general, or I want to hide this particular story, or I'm just generally not interested in this topic at all, or don't show me particular stories from this news source, in this case, the Washington Post. By pressing Manage Interests within this deeper level collection here, we go over, these are all the interests that Google has that's using to shape my newsfeed. Now notice that I've only, in this screenshot, go from A to E, and it goes way on, of course, to uh, include lots of stuff that I've chosen to learn more about over the years. My newsfeed's consistent with this stuff. It also shows me what I have hidden, and I, of course, can tap on any one of these red dots and unhide it so that I get more information on it. But in this case, I just, I didn't want to hear stuff about Apple's car play or about Battlestar Galactica. You know, it was burying me in Broadway theater, really. I don't care. So there's that level. Going back out to the thumbnails, you sometimes on a thumbnail, you're going to find a little colored icon here that looks like a stack of newspapers. Pressing on that, it's going to show you the full coverage which is what the icon means. It's a full coverage of all of those stories that are available on that topic right now. So you can get different perspectives from different topics and really crank up your research. Going back to your news feed, you have one more item there, which is the share button. Now the share button, of course, you're really familiar with. You can, you know, copy it or you can sh shoot it over to your messages, Gmail somebody, the link or whatever. But if you as a researcher are interested in taking charge of your Google News Feed and moving those items you find. Maybe you don't want to read them all at once. You can just shoot them over to a, uh, a Google Docs or a, a, a note or whatever it is that you have that you're collecting links in doing your research. So Google gives you lots of power to take control of that news feed, whether it's through sharing to special documents whether it's giving you full coverage on a topic, deep down allowing you to control what things are hidden from you, what your particular interests are by managing your interests, or whether it's just at the general level before you even open it, just saying, look, I want more or less of this particular topic. So it all happens with your news feed in that bottom collection of controls there after you press that G, the object of the game, take charge, control what it is Google sends you, and don't just mindlessly click and waste a bunch of time.